Welcome back to another one of my GunTuber videos. Uh, today we're going to focus on torque specifications uh, specifically related to the Trigicon, RMR, and SRO. So a lot of questions around what you should torque your uh, RMR or SRO screws to. Uh, this is the Trigicon SRO manual and it says that you should torque them to 15 inch pounds that is for the number six by 32 supplied screws. We'll talk about some other screws later in the video. The Staccato website uh, suggests for their plates that you go 15 to 20 inch pounds and that for the RMR you go 20 to 25. The Glock website says for their mounting plate it needs to be 13.3 uh, inch pounds. Uh, or 1.5 newton meters and then it suggests that for the red dot you go by manufacturer specifications. CHPWS uh, which does a lot of plate systems they basically recommend 10 inch pounds no matter the size of the fastener. So the uh, Trichicon website for the RMRCC actually says 18 inch pounds. Nighthawk here actually for the red dot just says follow the manufacturer's instructions uh, to mount it to their plate as seen in the instructions here. And then there's a, a pin that you insert and then you tighten that down to uh, 8 to 10 inch pounds uh, for the plate, not for the optic, but for the, uh, the set screw in the plate. A little bit uh, more of a deep dive here. Um, Obviously, the grade of the bolts matter uh, greatly. The grade eight, um, you know, it's almost double of, of like a grade five or something like that. Um, lubrication also matters. That's this K factor here is whether it's, it's dry or lubricated. You'll see it uh, here in these columns um, on the torque specs um, with something that has a, a lubrication applied, not heavy lube, but just lubrication. It's going to be like this uh, 15 cofactor. Um, it's almost, you know, 40% less, 30, 40% less than a higher on a dry bolt, uh, a higher cofactor. And so, you know, even Loctite adds, adds a lubricant if you're using a, um, you know, a, a luber or a, a wet um, Loctite. Uh, the ones on the standard RMR screws are not, and so they actually uh, increase this K factor a, a little bit. Um, because they cause it to bind up because it's a, a dry lock type, like a rock set type of thing. Um, but you can see here for, uh, you know, most of the screws we're talking about for the RMR, it's either a 4x40 or a 6x32. Um, a lot of guns that I run are the 4x40. You can see that it's in that range of, of like a 10 to a 14. Uh, the 6x32, which is what came with the RMR that I think the Glocks use primarily, you know, it's closer to that 20 to 25 that uh, Staccato recommended, um, being that I think they use the bigger bolts. If you run into, uh, I think the the um, C, uh, the uh, CP um, CHP PRS, uh, I can't remember what it stands for, but the uh, they're using a metric. I think they actually use like an M3 bolt. Um, they may be using a higher grade bolt uh, than, than that. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're recommending 10, but again, they're using like an, a metric number three or three millimeter. Uh, they recommended 10. This is a little bit lower, uh, even in that dry spec. And a four millimeter, you can go upwards of, of probably 15 to 20, but uh, somewhere in that general range. Um, and like I said, this just to kind of explains this K factor and, and dry versus lubricated, uh, the additional co, uh, the uh, coefficient of friction, etc. So you need a little bit more torque. Um, you know, I personally do use the CDI torque uh, driver to tighten all of my bolts down. Um, sometimes I use Loctite if I really have a gun that I'm, I'm expecting to, um, you know, use a lot and the, the optic to be on there. Uh, I have had a few plates come loose over time. Uh, it, it's very rarely that if I torque it, it comes loose. Uh, Loctite, even old Loctite, just kind of helps it remain a little bit sticky or not vibrate loose. If you don't apply anything to a brand new bolt, they tend to come loose. If you have even old Loctite, um, it tends to uh, you know, cause that bolt to, to not come loose from the vibrations. Uh, so vibration is a big factor on guns and, and one of the reasons it loosens. 
I, again, I don't have a, as much of a problem since I got that torque driver and I actually torque things to spec. Previously, when I was using Allen keys, I did. Uh, the other thing, I've got both metric and torques and, and the SAE uh, hex wrenches. That makes a big difference in not stripping out the heads, right? Because there's two factors to be concerned about. One is, is over tightening or putting on so much Loctite that the threads get stripped and especially uh, going from the plate to the gun you don't want to strip out your slide that's important um, even if you strip out the head of it right uh, if the threads are still good then you're going to be in good shape you can always replace the screws or the plate or whatever um, but if you strip out the ones going into the actual uh, slide then you're going to have to go up a size make the hole bigger etc that can run into issues um, with things like your uh, ejector extractor if it doesn't have enough space for it. Um, so you, you don't want to over tighten things, right? It, it, you know, under tightening it and having it to come loose or not applying Loctite, having it come loose is frustrating. Stripping off the torques or using maybe a metric size, um, you know, hex or Allen when you're supposed to be using an SAE and not having it, it fit quite right and stripping that out. You, you can get those things out there, you know, uh, bolt extractors that'll they'll rip those things out pretty easily. Um, what you don't want to do is over tighten it and strip the actual metal out of the threads. So uh, that's why I, I went to the torque wrench is that it's just safer. Um, and again, I have less problems, but I do generally apply um, some Loctite, uh, just helps with the vibrations and stuff. And then I torque them down. Uh, again, most of my guns, I generally torque to about 15. Again, if I know it's the bigger number six screw, I might go up to 20. Um, rarely do I go to 25. I haven't had any problems out of 20. Uh, like I said, some of these smaller screws maybe should go a little less. Um, in some, I even recommend 10. Um, usually, like I said, I'll, I'll go, uh, you know, generally 15, unless it's like a really small screw, uh, like a M3. Um, I'd go 10 on an M3, everything else I'd go 15 or 20. Um, and I've got all the, the ma manufacturer recommendations as well. Um, and like I said, I've, I've had issues in the past when I didn't have the torque driver and stuff. Since I've had the torque driver and I use Loctite, don't have much issue. Uh, I also do not use, I can't remember what Loctite I use, but I don't use something that I can't get out where it locks up really uh, well. I use like the I can't remember if it's the blue or the red or what it is, but it's a, a really mild Loctite. Don't have a problem getting my screws back out whenever I want to change optics and things of that nature. So I use this uh, CDI, which is a uh, sub-company of Snap-on. Um, this particular torque driver is a 5 to 40 inch pounds. They sell one in inch ounces. You do not want inch ounces. And it's the standard, um, you know, quarter drive hex uh, socket, uh, torque screwdriver. Sometimes it's referred. You can also use fix it sticks, and there's other products that have fixed ranges. They sell fixed ranges. I like this variable one. Uh, but a uh, great product and, and anything that has it uh, is pretty good that you can get a, a reliable reading off of.